Hey everybody. Um, we decided that we would do a devotional tonight and we would um, sing a few songs and we're going to let Noah do a de devotional. Anyway, um, I wanted to say that we're praying for Brother Justin and Sister Jennifer Richardson and their family. We're so sorry for the loss of Sister Jennifer's dad, Brother Calvin. We did not know him. Madison met him, I believe, on one of her ministry trips. But we didn't know him, but our, our hearts are, are heavy tonight because of the loss that they're feeling, and we're praying for them. We pray that God will give them peace and comfort during this difficult time for them. And I was thinking about this song, and we're going to try to sing it. The Father has a plan, but it's hard to see it now. Name. 
And I'm thankful that even in those times that I've gone to pray, that I've wondered, God, can you even hear me? I'm thankful that he knows our voice. Yes. He knows us by name. He says he, our names are engraved in the palm of his hands. He knows how, li- how many hairs are numbered on our head. He knows our thoughts. And I know that in the middle of times when there's confusion and torment and doubt and fear, that I truly do know the voice of God. And I know what he's there to give me peace. And um, 2 Corinthians 12, 9 says that his grace is sufficient. And when we're weak, he's strong. And I'm thankful that he gives us the strength to get through our trials and that he never, ever fails us. He's ever faithful.
But um, I want to focus. I know this is a familiar scripture to those who have grown up in church, who've read the, who've read some of the Bible. Um, I've preached from this before, but uh, it it really gets my attention, and I want to expound upon it a little bit more. But uh, I'm focus on where it says, "Be sober, be vigilant." Because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. I got to thinking about that, and uh, physical, the physical man wants to wonder, uh, how are you supposed to fight off a lion if you are attacked by him? So I looked it up. So I looked up, uh, I looked up some stuff about some lions, and I found this was one of the searches and it says just a simple sharpened stick would increase your chances against an adult lion tremendously and a trained human armed with it would likely be able to kill a strong adult lion this proves that with only a spear and a shield it is possible for a single human to take on a lion in a one versus one fight now think of that if you had a stick to fight off a lion. Well, I got to thinking about the armor of God, and I've got I got to thinking about the sword. You know how the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword, and that if we are equipped with this, we are equipped with His word, yes. and if we put on His whole armor of God, we have a better chance of escaping the lion, of escaping what the devil has for a trap for us ahead. Right. You know, if we live, you know, by the word, if we put on that armor, it would be harder for the devil to get to us. Right. If we stand strong, if we live right, we live like the Bible says to, we have, we're have we covered by the blood, and we'll make it through. And that's how you, this that's the way you'll make it, is by standing, standing your ground Standing still right there where you're at and fighting off the enemy. Stand your ground. Use the word that God has given you. And don't let the devil take anything from you. Don't give in. Just stand your ground and fight off the enemy. The best that you know how. And God's right there helping you. God's not going to leave you. God's not going to leave us nor forsake us. God's right there behind us helping us and backing us up. But that's, that's basically... What I've got for us today, if we prepare ourselves, if we give God our all and we put on the whole armor of God, if we get into this word, it can be sharper than any two-edged any two-edged sword. It is sharper than any two-edged sword, and we can fight off the enemy. And that's what I've got for us. But you know, that's what it takes to make it. You gotta be dedicated. You gotta be committed. You gotta be on fire for the Lord. Um, he said, uh, "What was it? Lukewarm or uh, hot or cold? Um, lukewarm to spew you out of his mouth. God would rather you be hot or cold." I can't remember the exact verse, the exact words, but we need to be on fire for God. Because there's not going to be a lukewarm or an indifferent Christian in heaven. There's no such thing. There's no such thing as, as a Christian that can be luke, lukewarm. If you choose to be lukewarm, you're choosing the wrong, you're choosing the wrong direction. God said, hot or cold. I choose to be on fire for God and I want to walk the way that he says to walk and I want to live his word but we've got to be ready to make it right. him saying that about standing our ground made me think of a song that the Blythe family really really dear friends of ours have sang over the years and we won't sing it like them but I feel like we should sing it Philistines came out against Shammah to take away his piece of ground. The people all began to run. They were afraid of those around. Oh, 
Alright, I was not going to do a devotional tonight, and it's not necessarily a devotional, it's really a testimony, but when we were singing Jesus Never Fails, I just felt strongly that I needed to talk about it. I don't know, if, I can't see right now who I was watching, and I don't know what any of y'all are going through or what y'all are dealing with, but I just felt led to talk to you about, Noah was talking about how you can make it, and I wanted to talk about how you can make it, you can make it, and um. Uh, I really wanted to talk about depression, and it's not an easy subject for me to talk about because I've, I've dealt with it, and I've dealt with it from time to time, and I don't understand why me, of all people, God would want me to, to talk about it, but I'm going to try the best I can and um, just give you a testimony. There are times in your life when you're not going to feel God. And there are times in your life when you're going to feel like you don't see him and you can't feel him. And you're going to you're going to beat yourself up for your past. But just because you messed up or just because you deal with trials does not mean that God does not love you. We have to face things, but just because we face them does not mean that he's done with us. And God can bring you throughout any trial you ever face. I've been brought out of, out of depression many times. But sometimes we have to go through things to make us stronger. And we know God's not given us a spirit of fear. He's given us power, love, and a sound mind. And um, I just wanted to touch on that and just say that no matter what you go through, God's going to bring you through it. And He loves you so much. And I, I, like I said, I don't know who's on here. I don't know... What you might be dealing with, I don't know. Somebody on here doesn't know the Lord, but if you don't know Him, He loves you and He wants to save you. I was thinking about it earlier. When we go through things in life, we go through the same things that people in this world go through, but the only difference is, is that we have a hope. We have somebody right, we can amen. lean on. When we go through our trials, and Mama says it all the time, I, don't, I couldn't live without serving the Lord. When you are in sin and you don't have the Lord, you don't have that source of hope to go to, you, you are searching for answers. You're searching with an empty hole in your heart for something to fill you. And it's never going to fill you unless you have the Lord on your side. Right. And I just wanted to, to mention that. I know it's, it's not a lot and it's, it's a little different that I just, I just felt led to talk about it. I just wanted to leave that with y'all and say thank y'all for watching. And I hope y'all have a wonderful night. What song is it? We've got to go back and listen to some of the time. I know it or not. This is an old song that I used to sing a lot when I was at home when Dad would preach in different places. I would sing. People would ask for this song, and I don't even know. I don't know if I can remember it. No pa 